We will be discussing about how to calculate our income tax liability. The entire salary package is not taxable, right? Are you paying the um, uh, tax on the entire salary package? No. So, I will show you how exactly this tax calculation works out. Now, I am introducing two terms. Is One is gross income, another is taxable income taxable income gross income this gross income will be your all your salary including your perquisites etc that the package that your uh, company announces to company offers to you minus all your CTC I am, I am saying minus employer contribution to superannuation funds like employer contribution to provident fund employer contribution to national pension scheme etc or uh, the gratuity if your uh, package includes a component gratuity component those are all excluded from your package to arrive at the gross income now are you going to pay the income tax on the entire gross income no so you will be paying the taxes on only the taxable income now what is this taxable income this taxable income is equal to you have a gross income minus your allowed deductions These deductions are like your contribution to provident fund or housing loan, in, uh, principal repayment or interest uh, etc. The details of these deductions I have already discussed in another video and uh, you can um, browse that video as well to go through the details of the deductions. So we will focus on our tax calculation. Now, once you have the deductions, you subtract from your gross income, which you have arrived like this, and then you find out the taxable income. Now, this taxable, once you arrive at the taxable income, then the tiered structure of taxes will come into play. So, first, up to 250,000, 250, all are in thousands, in thousands, I will make, so that... We do not have to write unnecessary zeros. So till 250,000 we do not have any tax that means 0%. The moment you cross 250,000 till 5 lakh that is 500,000. So we have a 5%. Let's say I have a 5% here y axis and it will rise to like this and it will remain 5% till 5 lakh. And then next is 10 lakh. So this this is 20 percent. So this again goes like this, and this remains up to 10 lakh. Yeah. I'm just dotting it, and then it goes to 30 percent. Beyond 10 lakh, it's all 30 percent. So, like this, and this goes like this. On top of this tax calculation, so you have CES. CES is 4 percent. Surcharge is 10 percent if income is beyond 50 lakh, and 15 percent if income is beyond 1 crore. Surcharge will be calculated based on the tax payable after calculating by this percentage up to this 30%. I mean, you will go on 30% like this, and then tax payable plus sales, and then you have to apply the percentage 
or say surcharge percentage and I'm just writing surcharge percentage of that this this is equal to your surcharge amount surcharge amount so this is how it is getting calculated so I will take you a case study and we will calculate the how the tax payable in our case study let's say the CTC is 15 lakh where you will have a variable component of let's say 1.5 lakh and the employer contribution employer contribution to superannuation funds superannuation funds superannuation schemes they are let's say 0.5 lakh so you have then at, if you are uh, starting at the month of April where our, all the tax calculation financial year begins then at the month of April your your gross income is income is 13 lakh so let's say you have all the deductions deduction in terms of a PF etc as I mentioned that I have already explained uh, these deductions in another video and you can refer that and these deductions are let's say it has taken three and a half lakh it can go much beyond this but I am taking in a conservative case so taxable income income is equal to 9.5 lakh or 950k now let's say what is the tax calculation how the tax calculation so tax calculations goes here like that up to 250 you have a cumulative cumulative amount and we have a tax amount cumulative is 250 tax amount is 0 beyond 250 to 500 another 250k all are in thousands sir. means 500k so the tax uh, amount comes to 12,500 this is at 5% I have mentioned you 5% and again another how much remaining you have 950k so remaining is 450k so this comes to 950k so this amount it comes at a 20% so 450 means it is coming to 90,000 yeah that's true so now your tax your taxable amount tax payable is 102,500 yeah? now <coughs> you will calculate sales at 4 percent okay so once you calculate sales at 4 percent that will come to 4000 and uh, this this is 100 so it's, uh, 106 600 so this is your annual tax payable so tax payable per month is equal to approximately 8750 this is how you will go on paying from april month onwards now in between you will get the variable let's say you have the variable of one and a half lakh your employer has given you now let's say in the june month you are going to get a variable amount of one lakh you can go beyond uh, it can go to 1.5 or some companies give even beyond that but let us conservatively assume that you are getting one lakh in the month of june so what is going to happen now the moment you get one lakh your uh, in the month of june you get 100 and 100k here so that becomes that takes to your salary growth income to taxable income to one third that means ten lakh fifty thousand. So you are now beyond ten lakh of 
taxable income bracket. Now, as per our as per our previous uh, tiered structure, you will you are entered into a thirty percent tax bracket. Now, how it will get calculated? The next from nine hundred fifty to ten lakh, it will get calculated at the rate of thirty percent. That means some fifty thousand will come at thirty percent. So that comes to fifteen thousand and fifty percent at twenty. Fifty thousand at twenty percent, so that comes to ten thousand. So this together put together twenty five thousand is your additional tax burden. On top of that, again you have a sales of four percent. So four percent sales. So that means another thousand rupees. So that comes to your twenty six thousand of additional tax. Now this additional tax. Can be direct straight away. It can be collected uh, in the month of June itself. This additional tax, this entire thing is your additional because you got a bonus. Or so this additional tax, entire thing can be collected in the month of the in the month of June, or it can be um, it can be collected only only twenty percent because at the time of crediting your uh, variable. You are in the twenty percent tax bracket, so it can be collected. That only twenty percent can be collected, and the remaining can be um, uh, divided into next nine months. So you may have to pay another five hundred rupees extra. So this is how this is a typical case study. This is how the tax gets calculated in our companies. Now here there is a benefit. I want to talk about that benefit also. If your taxable income. Is less than three lakh fifty thousand. Government has given another benefit is that you will be getting a rebate of hundred percent of your tax payable amount. Rebate of hundred percent of your tax payable amount or two thousand five hundred, which is whichever is less. Take advantages of all the income tax rules and take um, and get deductions and save your taxes. Hope you enjoy. You have enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed, then click on the like button and uh, subscribe button. And uh, if you subscribe the, the channel, then obviously we will be getting to um, access to all my videos in a single place. Thank you, and see you in another session.